Let's discuss steps to change your life through a wonderful mindfulness exercise that I like to use. Yes, I mean, you can change your life around with some simple steps by just changing the way you think, by, by the, the vocabulary that you use. Let me explain. Let's go on and talk about easy steps to change your life for the better with this mindfulness exercise. Mindfulness exercise, excuse me. Hey everybody, James Nussbaumer, and thanks for joining me at another episode of Everyday Miracles Moment on video. Keep in mind as you're listening to me, as you're listening to me, that in the description area down below is a wonderful access link that I, to a video that I hope that you will check out. The link below is called Create Your Life. And it leads you to a, a wonderful video, but also offers you a free ebook to download right into your inbo inbox that really is powerful. I hope you'll take advantage of that. But let's go on and let me ask you to keep on listening and, and take action right away when you're done with this video today. Remember that you don't need approval from anyone for finding ways to change your life. So bring out the truth in you, which is your true free will, and let your light shine forth, meaning your passion. Sometimes simply practice or having an exercise, a mindfulness workout, I like to also say, we may say, you know, evaluating some, some action verbs that we kind of don't really think that can help us to subliminally turn things around. I want to touch on that today for inspiring enough, enough bending in your brain, I guess I could say, just enough for what you can do to make life challenges and life make make life challenges much easier and change your life for the better. If you use these strategies that I'm going to give you here in a few minutes, even in tiny measures, you will naturally discover yourself on the journey to to changing your life for the better. So change really leads to bigger and better objectives and goals being achieved in your life. By the way, you can read more at my blog on this where I'd written a detailed article on how to make your life better in this instant right now and it's not difficult at all to do so the link to that detailed article is down below as well here at youtube in the, in the description area it takes you to my safe and secure website of course where my blog is located at but let's talk about taking action on some action verbs six action verbs to focus on the first one is offer Yes, give to charity, an individual in need or just a friend or a relative that maybe needs a little bit of help. It's offer. You know, you, don't have, you do not have to give something, you know, huge or expensive or, you know, take a loan out or anything like that, but simply show some appreciation. And, and what that will do is it will just, you know, maybe just a little flower or somebody for, maybe your sister or a cousin or somebody like that, or a little card in the mail showing that you care. You know, why it works providing, why it works is because it's providing you with an uplifting experience. And it puts a little bit of smile on who you're sending it to as well. And it frees your mind up from believing that there is lack of scarcity worldwide. Even though you're not consciously thinking that way, it's subliminally takes charge inside of you. So giving loving gestures gestures to others teaches you that there is plenty to go around and this is going to cause you to draw in more good ideas in your life, we could say. Number two, another action verb is discover. Yes, learn a brand new language, let's say, or a new dance, or maybe learn to play the guitar or something like that, you know? Why it works? Well, Learning something brand new establishes, you know, your nervous system and makes you believe in ways and mannerisms that you've never thought in the, in the past. Number three, the, the action verb is modification. Yes, change your regimen. Yes, take out a, say an ordinary, take it out of the ordinary way to work one day. You know, maybe change your usual clothing style. Maybe go with a new hair design or alter what you normally eat each morning. Maybe, maybe change up your diet a little bit to something a little more healthier. You know, if you desire a big change, start by making little minor steps or minor modifications to start with. Next, number four, action verb, take part, meaning, or we could say participation. Take part, participate in community activities. 
take up a sports group maybe or sign up with a club. If you're a golfer, join a golf group. Why it works? Because participation needs social interaction and imagination, both which will inspire and stimulate, again, you from within without you even realizing it, kind of unconsciously, so to speak. That's what I mean by subliminally. Number five, create. Create something. Maybe create a, an art piece if you feel you have a little bit of artistic talent. Maybe write a poem, write a song, perhaps write a narrative, begin a journal or a blog, make a bookshelf that, and start a collection, a library in your home, or begin a, a, a website or begin a blog. By the way, the blog that I have that I'm referring you to does wonders for me. So why it works, developing promotes all of those dormant forces that, that permit modification to enter your life at ease. Number six, this action verb is really good. It's just simple. It's called feel. Each time you carry out one of these inspiring action steps to change your life, you're feeling something good. So when good things are happening and you're extending yourself naturally and wonderfully, feel how good it, it makes you, it, the sensations going through your body. Take some several, take several minutes or even just a few minutes if you're in a rush in the morning to feel good about everything that you're doing in the day ahead of you. The truth within you will give you the attitude to, to reach your actions and achieve goals and objectives that you were kind of maybe thinking were unreachable. Make sure that you enjoy the process. Yes, the procedure of achieving goals. Enjoy each step of the way, knowing that exactly what you are doing is, is going well for you and, and those around you. Let me share a wonderful principle with the Course in Miracles that asks us this simple question. What do you want? Light or darkness? Knowledge or ignorance? They're both yours, but not both at the same time. Opposites must be brought together, not kept apart. And what the Course is trying to teach us is that when we, when we attract darkness to us, what happens? The darkness fades away and it becomes the light. Same with the sun rising in the morning. And it, the darkness is coming to the sun and it's melting away, so to speak, fading away and it becomes the light and there is the new day. So find Find all these different things to think about in an action kind of way, and these are the ways to change your life. They sure do help. I hope that you excel at using these motivational action verbs and also to alter your frame of mind and to enhance your life for the life you exactly want. Follow this strategy, this mindfulness exercise that I've laid out for you, and think about more of this kind of thing on your own. And, and as you do, that thought process will just automatically things will appear to you, hey, I should be thinking this way. And keep in mind, though, that however, nothing occurs for the better in your life without taking action. I hope that you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. And by the way, please engage with me on Twitter and Facebook. The links are also down below here in the description area down below. And as always, please be thinking about your own life and how the natural awesomeness that sits within you that is just waiting to be extended. When you extend that natural awesomeness within you, it does nothing but give your life a wonderful situation. As always, until next time, God bless.